Hello everybody and welcome to the Bailey Trailer Mod Pack. This is going to be a very interesting video because I've always liked Bailey trailers, hopefully you do too. If you're not sure of what they are or where they come from, basically, uh, it says here on the uh, actual Mod Hub page, it says they've been uh, going since 1982 and they're currently based in Lincolnshire, UK. Now this pack, as I'm sure you can tell, is a fairly big pack. It's got loads of different trailers and different varieties of the same trailer within it. So you can see here we have the flatbed trailers. It's all the same trailer but with different variances. This is actually the Flat 16. It's a 34 foot bale trailer with a maximum weight capacity of 16 tons. So it's going to be very useful to have. We then have, going back this way, so we're actually going down in size, we, we have the TB20, uh, three different variances of that, and then finally we have the smallest, the TB12. So I'll show you all the different types in a minute or two. We do have one tipped over there, which again I'll come on to in a second. So to kick things off, we have the TB12. Now these two trailers we see here are exactly the same, except for one difference. One of them has wide tyres, this one just here. The other one has the standard tyres, which I think actually I do prefer the look of, but it really comes down to practicality over anything else. Uh, you would have thought soil compaction would be reduced with the wide tyres, but it's up to you, obviously, which one you want to choose. I think I would go for that one over there, but yeah, your choice. A very nice looking trailer, lots of detail. It's got a beacon, just there we've got the uh, mud flaps as well, let's say Bailey on them, Bailey trailers. We've got all the decals, keep clear of unpropped body. Bailey, just there, and when you do tip them, as you can see from this one over here, it's very detailed underneath too. The two hydraulic rams for tipping, for, for picking it all up. Um, now, if, in case you're wondering, this trailer is the same trailer as the two over there, except this is the silage version, so it just has much taller walls. If I lower it down, uh, you should be able to see that anyway. Uh, so this is just uh, another variant of the TB12. It's all animated. Looks very good. I'll put the lights on. There you go, we've got the beacon as well. I think probably just the uh, the main headlights will put the rear tail lights on. Looks good. Very nice. This will really fit in well with the British farms especially, but obviously it can be used on any farm. Moving on we have the TB20 series. Now obviously these do all look very similar. Um, but the model does vary, for obvious reasons. Now firstly, we have the grain trailer just here, and what this has is the rollover top, so we've got a cover. Uh, I just need to be able to get up here. It's a good job we can levitate. So you can see that is going to be fantastic for keeping your crops dry if it starts to rain when you're harvesting. If I just get the tractor, we can pull this one out of here to give us a bit more space between them. They are fairly close together. But obviously this is the silage version, of the same trailer, so we've got much taller sides to be able to fit loads of the chaff in or the grass, whatever it is that you're collecting. And again, this is going to be uh, it's going to be quite a heavy trailer when it's full. Really large capacity. And then we have finally just the standard bulk carrier grain trailer, whatever it is you want to carry. This will do it all. Uh, possibly actually good for root crops, but it would be very heavy as well. So there are the TB20 Bailey trailers, very nice. We then have the uh, the many different varieties actually of the same flat 16 trailer. Firstly, we have the standard trailer. This is as simple as it comes, um, although still a very uh, decent looking trailer. We have a beacon underneath here with all the lights as you'd expect, um, but we don't have any kind of uh, bale guards or anything like that, uh, like these ones do over here. So I think probably, before I do anything, I'll just show you the different choices from this. You can have standard or wide tyres, it's up to you. You can then have the standard trailer, which we've just looked at. The uh, the front, which is just here, this adds £500. So you can see we have this uh, front guard just here. And uh, again, I'm going to have to keep going back on here, just to show you the different variances. But we have front and rear, front and bail stop. The bail stop... And if I just come back out of here, you can see we have the front, we have the rear, we then have the round bail stop just here, with the front guard, and finally no front guard, but we do have the rear bail stop. 
Now obviously it's going to be up to you which one you choose for your farm. You may even want to have two. But the good thing is because they are options, there should be nothing stopping you from removing them in your workshop. Um, for example, if we had um, this feature here, the front with the bail stop, well, technically with that we've already paid for the standard trailer, so uh, hopefully in the workshop we could put it back to standard. I think you would be able to. Uh, so it's up to you if you want to keep swapping them over. I should think, yeah, they're just bolt. Yeah, two bolts. Two bolts hold them on, um, I think. So it should be fairly simple to... Uh, to get rid of them later if you don't require all of the parts which you can put on. But they're going to be very useful and they do look really good. And uh, with them being such big trailers, we're going to be able to fit a lot onto these, which is brilliant. So I thought I'd just give you this very brief overview of the Bailey trailer pack. It's actually available on ModHub, so uh, definitely worth downloading. Give it a go. I'll put the link down below. And uh, yeah, I think they do look fantastic. Really nice mods. Anyway, that's it for today's mod spotlight. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.